Though whenever I talk about hosting, people always seem to comment and say I should try out Coolify. And that is what I managed to do in my spare time is I checked out Coolify, I spun up a VPS, I installed it, and I was able to host one of my Next.js applications using it. So this video is gonna be more of a walkthrough of how you can do this yourself and kind of see how easy it is to get running if that's something that you want to do. If you go over here to self-hosted, it's free to use from what I understand. And all you need to do is copy this curl command. Now, after you copy this curl command, you need a VPS. So if you were to host one on DigitalOcean or AWS EC2 or uh, wherever else, basically go and create a droplet. So if you are gonna self-host Coolify, you need to go down here and understand that there's a minimum requirements for how big your server has to be. So in this case, it says I need two CPUs, at least two gigabytes of memory, and at least 30 gigabytes of storage. And um, the reason you need all this is because it's actually going to build your containers and host them on either your current VPS, or you can actually have a remote VPS hooked into Coolify. So going to DigitalOcean, which is one service I like using just for like VPS stuff, let's go and create this box here. It's 24 a month has four gigabytes of memory and it has 80 gigabytes of disk space. I'm gonna go ahead and just create this droplet. So now that the VPS is set up, let's try to SSH into it. Here we go. And it looks like we are currently in it. It does say the system is still booting up. So maybe let's just wait a couple more uh, seconds. But in the meantime, let's go back to Coolify and let's grab this curl command here. So if you copy this and I'll go ahead and run this on that VPS here. And this is gonna basically download and install Coolify. Now for some reason I had to run this three times before it actually like started installing the packages I needed. Maybe the machine was still booting up and installing stuff, so that could be it. All right, so I think about two, three minutes this is done installing and now you can actually go to your machine over here. Let's just go ahead and go to that IP. Port 8000 and it's gonna ask you to set this up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some uh, basic information in here. And this is the information that you'll need to basically get into this box and configure stuff. This will take you through a walkthrough if you want to, um, but we're no scrub, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip the onboarding. Let's go right into the Coolify dashboard. So this is the Coolify dashboard. It has the ability to go in here, you can create projects, you can set up remote servers if you want to, and you can have multiple servers that you're kind of managing from this dashboard from what I understand. In our case, we are using a local host deployment. So. We're going to be hosting the same Next.js application that's running Coolify. But let's click projects and I'm going to go ahead and just add in a project here. I'm going to go ahead and just say my next app. Click continue. Go over here to settings. I'm going to add a resource. And then we are going to go up to the top and I'm going to say public repository. So here I'm going to go ahead and just select my local host service. Um, again, destination, I'll click, click this one. And now we're going to put the location to my GitHub repo. So I'm going to say, I'm going to paste this in. I'm going to click check repository button, and then I'm going to go ahead and say continue. Now, luckily, this uses Nixpax, which is like uh, an open source deployment library that's provided by Railway, which is another service I like using the deployment next apps. So it looks like Coolify uses something that's from Railway to figure out how to build and deploy your applications. So now that we have this, we have a project set up that we can start configuring. Now in our case, I want to point a real domain to our box. So I'm going to go to my Cloudflare account and I'm going to edit this and point it to that machine that we just spun up. I'm going to make sure the proxy is set to off for this example. And then the domain is going to be called my app. Okay, so just go ahead and save that. And so my domain is pointing to Cloudflare and I'm pointing Cloudflare, the subdomain of my app, to this VPS that I just spun up over here. So now that I've done that, I can go back to Coolify and I can put a comma here and I'm gonna put that my app dot, uh, whatever it was. And then down here at the bottom, um, this is a little bug. You do have to reclick this so that your domain gets added to like the, the caddy and traffic configuration. But let's just go ahead and click deploy. So that is going to grab your code from your public Git repo. It's going to start building it using the Nixpax library I just talked about. And you'll see it start building up your container and, you know, building your next application, doing npm install. And at some point it's going to create a Docker image. And then that is going to start running on whatever server you picked during those initial setup phases. 
And by the way, why this is deploying, you can go to deployments here and you can see a previous list of everything that you've deployed. Right now it's still building, but I'm assuming it should finish up here in a couple of seconds. All right, and so now it tells us that everything was successfully deployed. Let's verify. So if I go over here to links, I should be able to click on my domain and just go ahead and load that again. There you go. So this is a one page site I helped build for a, a friend of my wife and that's what's being currently deployed on Coolify. Yeah, so that's about it. That's my overview of using Coolify. If you wanted a nice way to manage your VPS, let's say you bought a nice powerful VPS and you want a way to manage all your applications to get those deployed out, you can check out Coolify. I think there's the ability to add like databases directly. So if I wanted to come in here and add like a MySQL uh, database or like a Redis database, you can do that and just kind of walk through that process and that'll deploy out a, a database for you without you having to do much work. So that's the overview. Hope you guys enjoy. Read through the documentations. And um, yeah, other than that, have a good day and happy coding.